Mm-hmm. Another song I want to talk about was uh, was "Bite the Bullet," man. I I am a I'm a sucker for father son stuff. If, if it's a movie and it's father son stuff, you know you're going to get the 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 waterworks coming from me and things like that. Uh, I love that that's a dad phrase. Um, if I was to write a song about my dad, it would be uh, for the birds because everything that he ever said is you know work is for the birds and you know, <laughs> right up to early is for the birds. You know, just yeah. it's all everything was for the birds, man. So so kind of right. talk a little bit about. Right. Uh, about that song and maybe a little bit about your dad. Yeah. I mean, my, uh, my dad passed away in, um, February of, uh, 21. So, um, yeah, it was about the same time that we were, I was starting to write stuff for the CP or whatever. And, uh, yeah, I mean, he, he, you know, to be honest, that saying bite the bullet, I, 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 I don't remember him saying a lot. It wasn't something that he said all the time, but the couple times that, um, I remember him saying it were pretty, <laughs> pretty intense, you know, it just having intense conversation. My dad and I didn't have like super, super intense conversations. A lot of stuff was surface, but uh, a couple of times he said that to me and for whatever reason, it was just something that I remembered having a conversation with him and him saying it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's funny because it, you know, usually, um, you know, somebody, you, you, a lot of people write a song about somebody who's passed or something like that. And it turns out to be a, pretty mellow sort of um you know um i don't want to want to say ballad but a slow song that's pretty maybe a little dark and whatever else been and this one i mean he was such a music fan he loved he loved heavy stuff and so this one's heavier you know it's a it's an upbeat sort of heavy song and i i wanted to make sure i did something like that for him but there's a lot of stuff on the ep as well as uh new music you know that i've been working on that's that's about him i mean it's probably the biggest change that happened in my life in the last uh last year or so so yeah and, and unfortunately you, you know you, you lost your dad and you know gained a child kind of yeah, all exactly. the same time, man. so that's, that's a lot uh, on there yeah it was ex- basically the, the exact same time yeah he, he passed in uh, february and uh, she was born in april so there wasn't a lot of time to um you know just to take time and actually mourn or grieve or anything it was kind of jumping into raising a, a new baby. So, um, yeah. So I, I, I guess I, you know, I'm fortunate for that for sure. Was he, uh, was he obviously supportive of the band over the years and, and were you guys close? Yeah, we were close and he was, yeah, he was very supportive. I, when we were in high school, when the band was first starting, there was a, you know, a lot of, a lot of parents were very, I mean, against it, just, you know, not really cool with, um, <laughs> with their kids, like just, spending so much time playing music when, you know, we want to go to school for other stuff. And uh, he was super supportive. Yeah. It, I mean, we rehearsed inside our house in our living room at times and in our garage. And he was just, both of my parents were over the top supportive. I couldn't, they couldn't have been any more supportive, you know, and my mom is still at every show that's within a 50 mile radius of, uh, you know, where she is or whatever. And yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. 